Hi, my name is Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. This week brought to you from the closed Menai Bridge. Closed for structural reasons, but seemingly you're still allowed to walk over it. So I thought I'd do a little changing road review here. Let's go find a suitable place. Well, what about this? Here I am on the central reservation of the currently closed Menai Bridge. Haven't seen any cracks on the top, so uh, and there are other people walking past and no one has so far fallen through anything, so I think we're good. I thought I'd first off explain uh, the slightly funny attire I have on this morning. This is an unusual garment for me to be wearing, and as you can see, it says YouTube on it. So, this is testament that to being an everyday athlete, like me, wins your prizes. So I took part in a YouTube creator uh, conference a few weeks ago and I won this for my ability at dancing. Now anyone that knows me will find this surprising. Um, being someone who works in an industry where we have to get people involved and try to get them engaging with us, I know just how difficult those um, icebreaker activities are. So when they said they were going to do one that had been put together by um, Ashley from Diversity, I thought I'm going to get involved. So uh, despite coughing and balking, I attempted to do the moving the arms and everything else and I got voted the winner. And they said there was a, a prize and I won this jacket with my channel name on it. So thank you very much YouTube. Let that be a lesson to anyone. If you're wondering about whether to get involved, do. It's always worth it and an everyday athlete would definitely know that. Now let's get on with the review. I've got three changing robes to show you today and uh, I think I'm going to find somewhere just to pop them up so you can get a good look at them. The three robes I've got for you for this review is the change robe, um, Selkie's recycled robe and the wild moose robe. We're going to get a little bit of a look into them but I thought it would be nice to hang them up on this well-placed uh, piece of highway furniture uh, just so you could get a bit of a look at them all next to each other. This is the change robe. Lovely length on it just below my knees. I'll come in a bit closer so you can hear what I'm saying. So nice hood. It's got an adjuster here. I'm a little bit warm so I'm not going to pull that in. Um, whoa! I'm in testament to how warm it is. That is very warm on my head this morning. So let's take a little look at the features. I've got a quite a, um, a slim entry on the, uh, on the cuff and you can make that even slimmer. So really blocking out the wind with that. So that'll be a nice feature for when you get off the water or if you stood about, whatever you're doing with it. Okay, next thing, um, nice, big tag on here to get your thumb into, really easy to operate if you've got cold hands. Um, we've got pockets on the outside here. They've also got those tags, which is nice, so they're secure pockets. Oh, and it's got nice little fleecy liner. So this little micro fleece. Oh, that is nice and warm, cozy. Uh, and it does up with a, you've got a storm flap over the top. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a storm flap on a um, on a change robe that I've reviewed. I'm sure if someone can think of it, pop it in the comments below. But this is um, uh, a flap which does up with um, uh, the press studs over the top, and then obviously you've got the zip. Um, bit of uh, bit of branding on there. Quite a lot of quite a lot of branding on the back. Um, depends if that's your thing or not. Uh, what have we got space-wise? So if I bring my arms in, as if I was going to get changed, I've got quite a, quite a lot of space here. Could almost do a little dance in there. I'm sure I could get some clothes on underneath that. Give it the lunge test. Lovely. I mean, for complete test, we do one the other way too. Yep, no restrictions on that. So. Let's take a look on the inside. What have we got? Oops. Okay. 
pops off nice and easily. So inside we've got uh, what I think is called a multimedia pocket. It zips up, kind of gives the impression of maybe splash proof, but it isn't, uh, the seam isn't waterproof. So, I mean, nothing survives a dunking, but that definitely won't. And then you've got the little hole for to get your uh, wires out for your earphones. Uh, we've got the pants pocket in here and that's about it on the pockets front but saying that you had the two nice hand warmers on the side um, the fleece is really very nice and warm it's um, it's that Sherpa fleece and um, yeah all in all I think this would be pretty nice it's uh, certainly comfy it's certainly warm so warm I've had to take my beloved uh, but a baseball jacket off uh, but yeah nice let's take a look at the next one well this is a selkie recycled robe let's have a look at the length first so similar length to the last one mid shin on me yeah good length Okay, let's have a chat about this hood. It is massive, but you can alter it. You can draw it in, because I think that would be quite the windsock if you didn't. So plenty of room under here for a bobble hat. Of course, today with it being a little bit warm, I'm not gonna deploy my bobble hat. I do have it with me though, obviously. So let's take this off. lovely and warm the thing that strikes me is this is a very different material to almost any of the change robes I've tried it's very very malleable really uh, soft to the touch it doesn't feel like um, uh, like the thicker materials that you often get for change robes it's a very very interesting uh, material yeah I'm struck I'm struck by that let's take a little look at the features then so got a couple of pockets on me these are quite low so I can't quite touch the bottom oh yeah just about touch the bottom of the pockets there um, but they're lovely and warm they've got the same Sherpa fleece in here as you have on the inside so first we've got the hand warmy pockets um, they don't seal up but they are easy entry and they're nice and big then we've got this one which looks water sealed if you can see there so this would be maybe where you might put your phone or where you want to leave something you need to keep waterproofed so that's quite nice let's have a chat about these sleeves these are nice and big and big entry aren't they so you could get some pretty big mitts on and get them through as well but of course it does have velcro sealing so you're able to bring it round uh, my feedback immediately to Selkie would be this strip here needs to move further round because even if I do it up the tightest, it leaves it pretty wide here. There's not a great deal, either that or more here. So I would hope to, to be able to see a little, little bit further around there. Um, maybe that's something that alter in the future. Uh, but as it is, it does, it does alter and reduce the size somewhat, but not a massive amount. Okay. So we talked about the fact the, uh, the hood is alterable, which is good because it's massive. Um, the waterproof outer is made from recycled bottles, um, which is a really cool feature, I think. Um, and again, it's that interesting material. You've got to touch it to, you've got to feel it to, uh, to know, really. On the inside though, what a flash of suit this is. This is amazing. Lovely bright orange there. And what have we got inside? Well, we've got a matching pocket, another internal pocket. This time it doesn't have that waterproof ceiling. So it's really just somewhere to keep things safe, but not probably waterproof. And then on this side, ta-da, we've got the pants pocket, of course. Great for putting your undies in, just at the ready for when you go to get changed. Let's have a little look size-wise, what we've got for rustling around inside. And of course, the lunge test. Oh, forgot to mention, nice nice tags here to be able to get hold of, pretty easy to get hold of and, uh, and drag up. That will be very easy with uh, cold hands. So, hands inside for a changing. 
Yeah, there's a good space in there. Lots of space for rustling around. And of course, plenty of space for a cheeky lunge, just in case, uh, I don't know, you need to limber up or something, or, you know, you just see a bollard and you've got to do it. It's difficult to explain, isn't it? If you're a lunger, you know it. Let's have a little look at the logo and branding then. So we've got uh, just the badge on the left chest and then also on the right arm, you've got the word Selkie wrapping around the arm, uh, but there's nothing on the back. So a little bit more discreet on the, uh, on the logo side of things. Well, this is Wild Moose's robe. Again, similar on the length, just past my knees, so mid shin, pretty much the same as the other two. Let's take a little look at the features then. Whew. Again, a nice and warm uh, hood. This one does not have alterations on it, so that's the size of your hood you're getting, but I could definitely fit my um, bobble hat underneath, even if it was a wild moose one with a huge bobble. Out I come. Right, let's take a look at the features then. Sleeves wise, nice and long. Um, again, quite slim at the, uh, at the entrance bit there. So not too much wind getting in there, but again, we've got this nice Velcro feature and you can get this nice and tight so we're not getting wind up there. So I'll undo that for the time being. Pockets wise then on the outside, we've got these really nice easy to grab tabs that are like little half moons they come down easily into a nice oh, that is nice and cozy cozy liner of micro fleece i would say feels like stroking a mole i imagine yeah they're nice and warm let's take a look at the what size we've got inside it then so Plenty of space to do uh, to play maracas or something inside. What about the lunge test? Yep, lots of space in there. Always disappointing when runners by don't join in my lunging. So lots of space in there. Let's take a look on the inside. After undoing that a little. Okay, so inside quite standard in terms of the pockets. We've got the multimedia pocket um, in a vertical motion, I guess, the little hole there to pop our headphones. Um, not waterproofed because it's not a taped seam there. And then we've got the pants pocket, good size, similar size to others. Um, nice and warm Sherpa fleece. Yeah, it's a cozy, it's a nice and cozy uh, little change road this. So let's play spot the logo. We have it on the chest and on the back. And also a dinky little one on the, uh, the zip pull. Not too big, not too wild. It's personal choice what you feel about logos. And now for the um, toe float test. The one I'm using here is the Lomo Swim Run um, dry bag rucksack. Uh, it's around about 30 litres, I think, and uh, let's see if they fit in. When I'm swimming in the winter, I like to take minimal kit with me, but I like to take my changing robe inside my tow float so that I can get out whenever I need to. If I suddenly feel cold, I can just get out and get that um, change your robe on and start the warming process. So for me, that's something that's really important, but it isn't necessarily important for everybody. Thank you to Change Robe, Selkie and Wild Moose for sending me their changing robes to test. It's great to see three other ones coming onto the market. And as you I'm sure will agree, they were all really lovely. They all have their individual uh, plus points. And um, it, it's certainly great to see so much choice coming out. I hope this has helped you in your uh, uh, decision making and if you're still looking around please take a look at the changing robe 
um, playlist that I've got on the uh, on my channel which goes through a whole load of different reviews that I've also done um, change robes are superb they're not essential for swimming but if Santa is looking for something to spend some pennies on then you could uh, you could go far worse than getting one of these three because they're all cracking I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and if you have you'll drop it a like tell me in the comments what you'd like to see me doing in future videos and uh, hopefully you're getting to see a little bit of time in the water or by the water or on the water um, and if you're looking for something to do over the winter but you don't really fancy considering uh, continuing to swim then think about doing the blue tonic winter challenge which is all about doing things around blue spaces but not necessarily having to get wet I'll drop a link to that in the description below and you can also check out the video I've done on it. Anyway, it's great to hear from you. I love getting your comments and uh, I will catch you up soon. See you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe as well. I'd love to have you join me. I'll see you next time.